So I actually had a pretty hard time trying to figure out what I would do a speech on today. I was thinking, like, oh, this idea is dumb, this one's weird, they wouldn't like it. Uh, but then I figured out I needed something grand, something amazing, something like climbing the highest mountain or treading the hardest path, something that you can look back upon and tell yourself, this speech saved my life. That is why my speech today will be on how to perform a speech. The things before were unrelated. So, to begin with, we're going to talk about, you know, one of the most common things about performing a speech. Nervousness. It's going to happen to all of us. Nobody's immune. So, a big part is really telling yourself that. Nervousness is okay. Nervousness, on the contrary, I actually think is a good thing. Because it shows that you genuinely care about your speech, that you want it to be great, that you want the audience to really love it. So instead of trying to cut away nervousness, trying to break away from it, trying to be as strong as possible, channel it into your speech, whether it's just telling people, hey, I'm a little nervous, so that you can relax yourself and they'll feel relaxed too, unless you know nervousness is a major topic in your own speech. In which case, you can also just do simple motions, you know, try to walk around, I mean, not, you know, across like this, but just keep yourself, you know, kind of loose while standing also close to the podium. There's there's sort of balance that comes with, you know, creating motions, but it's a balance that you can actually find more easily than you think. The next part is staying hydrated. The benefits of staying hydrated are extremely important. You know, stay hydrated before a speech and also sometimes during a speech. Uh, I personally do recommend something that's room temperature or at least a little warm. Something that um, singers would recommend is that you do not drink cold water during a song or even during a speech because that actually would, uh, I guess, shrink uh, the muscles in your throat and whatever you're trying to say, it's not going to come out as clear. It'll, you'll struggle coming out more. So yeah, um, drink something warm and have it on you at all times because if you need a good transition, having a water is really good. So you don't have to just say, uh, 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 all right, we're moving on. Uh, or if you just don't like staying quiet, well, just do this. See. Next step is to be confident and be clear. You don't need some type of special voice to be able to do a good speech. I'm a firm believer that anybody can make a good speech as long as they're clear enough. You don't need to be like, ladies and gentlemen, this is my speech. You don't need to do that. Although in which case, if you can do that, that is pretty cool and definitely do that. But you don't need it, is what I'm trying to say. As long as you project yourself, the audience will understand what you're trying to say, they will enjoy what you're trying to say, and it helps even build up your own confidence because you're being able to open yourself up. If you're just like this, standing still, quiet, and you're not, but and you're just kind of like this, the audience is not going to understand what you're trying to say, and it's just going to build up that nervousness that we mentioned earlier. It's a sort of self-fulfilling prophecy. If you don't open yourself up, then you're just going to ruin your own speech. Final step is practice, practice, practice. The picture's unrelated. I was just struggling to come up with something to relate to that. So, yes, practicing, ah, excuse me there. Practicing your speech is incredibly important before, at any moment, because it helps to understand you know, what flaws you might be having, something you're struggling with. Say there's a part that you're actually nervous on. You're be, you'll be able to find that out through practice. If there's something you're great at, you'll be able to figure that out and be able to use that and channel it into the rest of the speech. And also, to go back to confidence, practicing your speech, whether even by yourself, I feel, can really help build up your own confidence in your own performance. And that is something I think is incredibly important. Everyone is going to tell you constantly practice, but it always helps to just hear it one more time, I feel. Whether you're just doing it a couple times or you're constantly, constantly doing it, I think practice makes perfect. So, in conclusion, we're in this class because we're trying to 
learn how to perform better on our speeches, right? We're here for that, unless you're just here for the credits, in which case, well, you're gonna learn how to make better speeches anyway. So why try to you know, bubble yourself up, try to open yourself up, project yourself, and try to make the best speech that you can? Any questions? <laughs>